Hey guys, right before I jump into the latest five minute portrait, I wanna remind you to stick around to the very end because I'm gonna break down each photo as I go in the Lightroom so you can see all of the photos, what I did, and the things that were going through my mind while I did that. But I also want to remind you that if you have not signed up for the Fronos Photo email list, you can do so right here in this orange box. A guide to capturing motion in low light situations is what you will get emailed to you for free once you sign up here and hit send it. And don't forget about the Fronos Photo beginner guide to going above and beyond auto. If you're looking to get out of auto or you've had your camera for a while and you're not really sure what to do, and really you want to learn a bunch of things like I did in the video you're about to watch, then go ahead and pick up that guide. It's a three three hour long video that I think you're gonna like. So enjoy this five minute portrait. Jared Poland Fronos Photo Com, here with a five minute portrait from my new loft and I've got Todd Wolf here who just stopped by to check it out and I'm gonna use him as my subject for the five minute willy because he says that. So what I, what I think I'm gonna do here is I haven't said anything yet. I've got the GoPro going here for the first person shooter po uh, perspective but I've got walls over here. I've got a corner window thing. I don't want to put his back to that wall. I want to have him stand out from it because I want to hit light on both sides because I'm not popping a flash. Maybe I'll do a five minute portrait with somebody in here with flash, but for now, I just want to figure this out. Todd, let's do it. So, I love this. Like, I could hit your face. Look at the light coming in off your face. Now I got to worry about your stinking glasses. Actually, it's better right here. Move this way. Mm -hmm. Turn this way towards me. So I got light coming, boom, there we go. Chin down, because I got, ah, see? The chin down, watch this. I'm just gonna use the GoPro for that. Chin up, look at the lights on, reflections, chin down, no more reflections. All right, let's do this. I've gotta guess my settings, so I gotta find this. I gotta make this work. And I'm gonna break out the 300-2.8 for this in a second. Actually, I don't wanna be in continuous, I wanna be in single. Boom, single focus. Chin down more, there we go. Locking in on his eyes, we're going to chimp and take a look. And Todd, how was my guessing settings? Does that look pretty good or what? Sexy time. Look at that. That's, I didn't even, I didn't even, um, I just picked settings in here and then I got it. What am I at? One two hundredth of a second at f4, at 1600 ISO. We shot that at 200 millimeters. We did shoot it at 200 millimeters. Awesome. All right. I like this, Todd. I like this already. Relax. Relax. Yeah. Fingers and the thumbs in the thing. See, I got all that reflection. Reflection, more, down. There we go. Focus in on Todd's eye. I got a little bit of reflection. Take a step back. Now I just wanna, I wanna get a little bit more of your body in there. Because it's sexy time. Let's see, cross your arms. I'm just looking at light, I'm looking at light. Ah, oh, wow. There's so much reflection coming in on your glasses. Chin down again. There we go. Yeah, this is what I want. What do I keep stepping on? Is this brick? I don't know what that is. It's coming over here. Gotta get this right. I got the stove in the back, but it should be blown out and you can't even tell what it is. God, our settings are so good right off the bat, Todd, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. Um, you know what, let me put you against here. I'll do more with the 300. But I wanna shoot a little bit. Put your body against there, lean your, yeah. yes! You're so awesome right now. Chin down again, so I'm contending. Oh my God. I don't think there's much needed to be changed in terms of exposure. Did you see that? Did you just see that, what happened right there? I'm bumping my exposure a little bit. You didn't see it. That's perfect, Todd. I am using, why does my, my camera, my camera smells like food. Here, Todd, I'm gonna show you this. Look, I'm utilizing that brick wall over there and drawing me in, throwing you off to the side. Sexy. This is awesome. Let's go vertical. Let's go vertical and then we're going to break out the 300. That's good. But what I want to do, I notice the kitchen in the background. I don't want that back there. I love how Todd's just following me like he knows what he's doing. Check it out. I almost did this with the shot, guys. I almost cut off his elbow and then I saw that so I corrected my composition to go boom and I got that right. These are great, and, and the exposure is pretty, pretty darn close. Not much more needs to be changed there. Let's see, can I get a full body from here? I don't like the full body. Is it chin down again? There you go. Boom. 
I want to break out the 300. I want to be, yeah, I like, I like the way that step up just a little bit into the light. I yeah, know, that's what she said, I know. See, now I got to compensate for that on his face. I'm going to bump my uh, shutter speed to 400th of a second. I'm going to focus in on his other eye, not in the shadow. This is where flash would come in handy. I know you guys can't really see me over here, but this is where a little bit of a fill flash, or even if I had a reflector, as simple as a reflector, would pop in on his face and be awesome. All right, I'm going to change because we want to keep this to five minutes. We're going to go with the 300 28, then we're going to wrap it up. But that made sense. May not even need to use flash, Todd. Just a reflector, there's so much light coming in, we could bounce it in there without a problem. I know you would agree with that. I'm flashing anyway. Yep. So, uh, I got it. All right, let's see how we do with the 300. You may need to go to the next window. Just watch my, uh, watch my lens. Yeah, that. Hang, he's still in there? Awesome. Yes. I got to turn my camera back on. Yeah, Todd, look out the window. That's good. I got to get some stability down here. Yeah, that's perfect. That's not, but hold it right there. This should be, the exposure shouldn't change much. It's a little, actually I'm going to drop down to 12, I'm going to drop down to 1,000 ISO. The light's actually changing outside slightly. Oh, that's great. Square your head up to me a little bit. There we go. Chin down again. I got to contend with that. And step up into the light a little bit. I want to get a little bit more of that light in. Turn your head towards the window so I get the fill, fill light there. That's right. Chin down, eyes to me. Boom. Boom. That's good. Yes. See, what I wanted to do was get that fill light to fill on the side of his face because I'm not using a flishity flishity. Yeah, that's it, Todd. And then we're going to be done. Boom. Man, love compressing the background. I don't think I ever want to put any furniture in this place. Todd, we're going to stop. Let's come back to center and call the day. That's it. That's a five minute portrait. I like You're that. You're the first person to get shot by photos in this place. I feel privileged. You like that? I do. That was actually pretty cool. I love these lights. I love the light that comes in. The fill light off the side of the face. Mm -hmm. Could pop a little bit of flash in there, but other than that, it's actually warming up now that the, uh, the heater's on. That's nice. Thank you, buddy. Let me do my sign out here. All right, guys, that is the first video I've done in my loft. Oh, don't forget, you can pick up the new space edition of the I Shoot Raw shirt in this awesome, awesome color in t-shirts, in hoodies, and in lady shirts. And don't forget about the Fronos Photo Beginner Guide, where you'll learn how I guessed my settings right in the first place, and you can figure it out from there. Thank you guys for watching. Jared Poland, FronosPhoto.com. See ya. So there you have it. That was a pretty good five minute portrait in my mind. I, I think it was almost five minutes. If the video was seven minutes long, we talked for a good minute and a half. So I think it was really a five minute portrait and we ran through a whole lot of different angles from uh, more of a two and a quarter length body shot, tighter shots, verticals, horizontals, used the 300 2.8, used the 70 and 200 2.8 and came out with some really cool images. And right off the bat, I really did guess those settings. I just put in some settings that I thought that the images would work at and boom, they were right on. Now they were right on in the first pictures. And as we move here to the computer, I'm gonna to explain to you what happened. We were at one 200th of a second F4 ISO 1600. I chose that because I was indoors. 1600 ISO felt right. Uh, 200th of a second felt right. And so did F4. And that's what I shot it at. And these, the exposure was pretty much right on. How much change did I do here? Let me get into the develop module as the computer goes slowly. Mix slower sin. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah, almost not even a half a stop did I add some exposure to it. I'm happy with this image. I don't think it's the greatest look of what we got but it was the first image. Moving forward, just transitioning the background, uh, giving you another shot here. Same settings, you could see more of a waist level shot. You know, I'm happy with the images that I got early. Usually the first couple shots are good to get your settings right. Uh, I jumped right into it, was able to do that, and then you move into what's next. Now I asked Todd to go towards the window, but what's gonna happen as you get closer to the light source? Well, it's gonna get brighter. And if you don't compensate for that, you're going to get overexposed images because of this. Watch, 
I'm just gonna hit reset real quick to show you where it started, or can I hit this button? Reset. Well, it's not even that bad. It wasn't that bad. I'm, I'm about to sneeze too, hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. I sneeze into my hand, that's the wrong way of doing it. But anyway, I like this image. Look at the horizontal shot. What I did is I used the brick wall which was closer to me, to draw you into Todd, to make that out of focus brick wall as a leading line, using things out of focus to draw you into Todd's look and look at his face. He is looking great in this image. Uh, I really like what's going on here. The reflection isn't that bad. I had him lower his chin so that I could see around that reflection. What I did was I had Todd change. I had him move around and I did some moving so I didn't see the reflection because the reflection could ruin the image so that's why I asked him to move his head up and down a little bit just so that you could get the get rid of that gloss uh, the glow uh, but I'm really happy with this shot I did use this wall here boom let's see how is this I went a little bit tighter Nah, you can see that's not as good as this one. This one's good because of the head tilt, but then you had this, the, the kitchen in the background wasn't that bad then I darkened it up a little bit still looks good uh, 1600 ISO, and then we did more of these. This is the one I talked about where I had something in the background. You can see the kitchen's in the background, then I moved to the side, and I was like, oh, why don't, instead of doing the kitchen in the background, why don't I show more of the brick wall? And that's exactly what I did. Also, I noticed this shot. I didn't take it because I noticed it, but then I went back and I took it. I cut off his arm a little bit. I was gonna take it, and I was like, no, I can't use that composition. Then I figured I should take it to show you guys. So I took it, and then we got that shot, and then I recomposed and got this shot, which is a better composition. Really like it, really like how Todd looks. I struggled with going with black and white versus color in this, and most of them, I stuck with the color. There was just something about the images that looked better in color for the most part with this. And it's not like that all the time, but maybe it's the brick wall. Maybe it's Todd's glow. Maybe it's his, you know, the gray, the salt and pepper of the beard. Something like that, who knows? But, you know, you just get a feel for it. You get a shot, boom. This is with the 300 2.8, now still 70 to 200. Now we're with the 300. I had him look into the light, 400th of a second, 1600 ISO. As you can see, what I did is I bumped up a stop. I went from, I went from 1 200th of a second to 1 400th of a second. That's one stop of light. Uh, I didn't do much correction on this one. Maybe I didn't finish it, or maybe I did, but I used the highlight for the first time. I really have never used the highlight, but watch how much it corrects. It really does do good, but you gotta be careful not to over highlight it, because that's when you start to look like this, and that's when those, it's kind of like an HDR look, and I'm not a fan of that, so I pulled back. I didn't want to go too far over there, so I kept that. More with the 300. See this, eyes up, chin, I needed the chin to come down to get rid of that glow. Uh, reflection, got it there, a little bit more. Something a little distracting here is this off to the side is this brick. You could crop it out if you wanted. You could just paint over it so it goes dark. I did notice that. I didn't notice it when I was shooting though. Then I had him bring his eyes to me and I used this wall right here to draw him, draw us into the subject and use that out of focus. I like that. I like that. Boom. We're finishing up right here. Once it loads, a little on the dark side, we could, I mean, I like the edit and that one's much better. It's a little warmer. And really, there you have it. We have a longer discussion on a five minute portrait on the photos we took. I'm happy with this shoot, went pretty quick. I think you guys can learn a lot from it. And like I said before, if you haven't picked up the beginner guide and you're looking to figure out how do I know my settings? How did I guess them? How did I figure out where I should be and then what I need to do when I get closer to the window or further away? It's all in the Fronos Photo beginner guide. It's a three hour long digital download or physical copy that you can get on DVD, both the same price. The physical one comes with free shipping. Uh, and it's a really cool thing. Don't forget about the I Shoot Raw new t-shirts right here. You can pick it up in the store. Uh, and that's really it. Check out that beginner's guide if you haven't. It really will help you out. Uh, and I think you guys will dig it. So there you have it. It's a five-minute portrait. And I'll sign out again because this is the bonus video. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.